well, the most universal human experience that we have is inhabiting a body. And I think iterations of that just keep repeating in my work. As I've become, I suppose, more confident in how I address photography, I'm more willing to invite risks, relinquishing some of the control that's required, that's an integral part of using a large format camera. So these are quite um, distinctly unglamorous portraits, myself and my husband holding our twins. About five years ago, I was really keen to do a series of portraits of bearded, Jesus-y type men holding babies. The idea never took off, but it sort of stayed in the back of my mind and then thought maybe I could sort of re resurrect it for a portrait. And so I asked my husband, Colin, he said, I'll only do it if I can be in disguise. So I had, you know, I have an extensive wig collection. Several months later, I thought I'd, I'd just do another version with myself. And I was thinking about the title of the show, Hypertrophic. A hypertrophic scar is one that's healed abnormally. I just like that word as sort of the parents with the trophy, the trophies, the fruits of our heteronormative union. But we came to parenting late and I'm finding the whole parenting business, it's a strange affair. It just felt right to make art about it in this sort of unglamorous way where we're not, um, we're not trying to be our best selves. So these are the sort of the images I, I really enjoy making, which is the, the staged portrait where there's a sort of quest to create glamorous images and they go in all sorts of directions. But my camera's becoming so decrepit that it's got holes, it should be light proof, but it's getting holes in the bellows that connect the lens with the back of the camera where the film holder is. So I thought, let's just see what happens. So they're called Portoscura and Nettle. I sort of see them as a pair that have a, a connection an escapist kind of quality. My shoots are often fraught with quite a profound anxiety. There's pressure for the shot to work, there's a lot of work goes into making the images. As a reprieve from that, I thought I'd sit down and do some drawings for the show. So I sat down with my art supplies and what I drew looked very laboured and forced. So I went through my visual diaries and there's a lot of material in there. So I, I singled some out that I liked. They're kind of very open-ended. They're not sort of telling you what to think. So I quite like them as sort of slightly cryptic insights into my photographic practice. And because I made them with no intention of showing them, there's no sense of inhibition. They're very spontaneous. And to me, they, they communicate something of my imagination.